To My Grandmother by Frederick Locker Lampson Read for LibriVox.org by Christina Chu To Celebrate Grandparents' Day, 2006 This relative of mine was she seventy and nine. When she died, by the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree her maiden reverie has a charm, her ringlets are in taste, what an arm, what a waist, for an arm. With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace, farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romany's lemoning chew, what a lucky dog were you, grandpapa. Her lips are sweet as love, their parting, do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly and seem to say, Come. What funny fancy slips from atween these cherry lips whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint. What canon says, I may marry thee? That good for nothing time has a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her locks as white as snow, whence shamed the swarthy crow. By and by, that foul's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Well, I wot with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay, her charms had dropped away, one by one, but if she heaved a sigh, with a burden it was, thy will be done. In travail, as in tears, with the fardel of her years, overpassed, in mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmama, this nether world agrees, it will all the better please Grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To My Grandmother by Frederick Locker Lampson Read for LibriVox.org by Dreama Lynn of BlueSilver.org To celebrate Grandparents' Day, 2006 This relative of mine, was she seventy and nine when she died? By the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree, her maiden reverie has a charm. Her ringlets are in taste, what an arm! What a waste for an arm! With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romney's limning true, what a lucky dog were you, Grandpapa! Her lips are sweet as love, they are parting, do they move, are they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam beseechingly, and seem to say, Come! What funny fancy slips from atween these cherry lips! Whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint, What canon says I mayn't marry thee? That good-for-nothing time has a confidence sublime, When I first saw this lady in my youth, Her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her looks as white as snow, Once shamed the swarthy crow, By and by that foul's avenging sprite Set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Well, I wot with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay! Her charms had dropped away one by one. But if she heaved a sigh with a burden, it was thy will be done. In travail, as in tears, with the fardle of her years overpast, in mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmamma, 
this nether world agrees to will all the better please grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. To my grandmother by Frederick Locker Lamson, read for LibriVox.org by Gemma Bloth. To celebrate Grandpa's Day, 2006, the is relative of mine, was she seventy and nine when she died? By the canvas never seen, how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath the summer tree, her maiden reverie, as a charm. Her ringlets are in taste, what an arm, what a waist, for an arm. With her bridal wreath bouquet, lace bath and gale and gay far below. For Romney's limning true, what a lucky dog were you, Grandpapa. Her lips are sweet as love, they are pardon, do they move, or they dumb? Her eyes are blue and beam, beseechingly and seem to say, Come. What fun a fancy slips from between these cherry lips. Whisper me, with sorceress in paint, what can it says? I meant, marry thee. They had good for nothing time as a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, her winters had forsooth done their worst. Her locks as white as snow, one shame was why they grow. By and by, that fowl's vengeance brought, set his cruel foot for spot near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Will I wot with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? A perishable clay, her charms had dropped away one by one. But if she heaved a sigh, with a burden it was thy will be done. In travail as in tears, with the fardel of her years overpassed. In mercy she was born, where the weary and the worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmama, this nether world agrees. It will all the better please, Grandpapa. End of poem. To My Grandmother by Frederick Locker Lampson For LibriVox.org Narrated by Sean McKinley To Celebrate Grandparents' Day 2006 This relative of mine was she seventy and nine when she died? By the canvas may be seen how she looked at seventeen as a bride. Beneath a summer tree her maiden reverie has a charm. Her ringlets are in taste. What an arm! What a waist for an arm! With her bridal wreath, bouquet, lace farthingale, and gay falbala, were Romney's limning true. What a lucky dog you were, Grandpapa! Her lips are sweet as love. They are parting. Do they move? Are they dumb? Her eyes are blue, and beam beseechingly, and seem to say, Come! What funny fancy slips from between these cherry lips! Whisper me, sweet sorceress in paint, what canon says I mayn't marry thee? That good-for-nothing time has a confidence sublime. When I first saw this lady in my youth, her winters had, forsooth, done their worst. Her locks, as white as snow, once shammed the swarthy crow. By and by that foul's avenging sprite set his cruel foot for spite near her eye. Her rounded form was lean, and her silk was bombazine. Well I wot, with her needles would she sit, and for hours would she knit, would she not? Ah, perishable clay, her charms had dropped away, one by one. But if she heaved a sigh, with a burden it was thy will be done. In travail as in tears, with the fardel of her years overpassed, in a mercy she was born, where the weary and worn are at rest. Oh, if you now are there, and sweet as once you were, Grandmamma, this nether world agrees, twill all the better please, Grandpapa. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.